Hi, this is Raven and welcome to Teach Your Things Real Quick. In this first video, I'm going to be using a paid plugin by Ray Giant, Tropical Tau. Tropical Tau allows you to use 3D effects real, real quick inside After Effects. In this first video, I'm going to be merging 3D with live footage action. Let's start right now. Well, this is what we're going to be recreating. First things first, you'll need to record your video. I was on the set of a music video with a client when this idea came up. Well, if you don't have a piece of footage, you can download this one in the description below. Now, let's jump into After Effects. Well, inside After Effects, we create the composition with the preferred resolution, we add a footage, and then we have to track it. Double click the layer and select the tracker panel. If you can't see it, you can find it under the Windows tab at the top. We select position and rotation and track it. We'll apply it to a new layer. We'll then create the camera and parent it to the new layer. Now we need to create a solid and apply the tracker tile plugin. So this is where the fun happens, where you let place to creativity. So I tweak some settings to change the look, the emission type of my tropical tile. I didn't quite like the texture of my object, so I downloaded a grunge texture layer and I brought it inside the composition, turned it off, and inside my tropical tile, I could select it as my texture. So I needed some light, added them, placed them around my object. Went back to Tropical Tau, animated the size over time. I like how it was coming together, but he still had some work to do. To make it seem like he was hovering over his hand, I needed to create some shadows. So I duplicated my Tropical Tau layer, add the field effect on it, twisted it, changed the position, add some Gaussian blur effect, and drop the opacity. I decided to duplicate my Tropical Tau layer. Change some settings, change the shading. Now to make it even realer, I had to make it feel like it was coming from inside his hand. To do so, I had to pre-compose all the layers together. Now with this new layer, I could add an adjustment layer and mask over his hand as he's opening it. What was left to do was adding some color correction, some glow to make it pop and that's it for today. Now, if you like that video, please give it a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you real quick.